We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. But that's my life. It has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Name, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the player. Are you the one? Hello, Ottawa. You guys are the last stop on our Soccer Dreams Tour. Aspiring soccer stars and their families line up in anticipation as they wait for the Soccer Dreams Challenge to begin. It's my dream. I came to win it. If I have to push anyone to do it, I will do that. <laughs> that'd be like a dream, man. that'd be incredible. Oh, that'd mean everything to me. Oh, it means a lot. It means everything. This is what I want to do for my life. It'd be like a dream job. I mean, I've worked in retail long enough to know I don't want to do that. And uh, I love playing soccer, so that'd be great. So you leave retail behind. <laughs> Easily. Who will survive the cut and make it to the House of Champions? Okay. We do not want kids that are just going to walk through the drills, jog through the drills. We want kids that are going to show heart. They're going to work hard, they're going to bust their butt to win this. The first drill is the left and right passing challenge. This challenge tests the dexterity of the player's left and right feet while running. Because the challenge is based on accuracy and speed, Let's see if you make the cut. Ça voudrait dire vraiment beaucoup pour moi, à cause depuis que je suis petit, je veux être pro. Là, j'ai entendu parler d'Everton, là j'ai dit c'est un bon. C'est pour ma famille, pour tout le monde, je serais, je serais vraiment content. Ce serait merveilleux. The coaches are pleased to see a large number of young women have taken up the Soccer Dreams Challenge, and they're showing they can hold their own against the boys goes to show that girls can do just as much as boys in sports, so it's a good opportunity. Girls are just as good as guys. Better, better. I'm awesome. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sweet. <laughs> oh, I'm tearing it up, like honestly, let's be honest. <laughs> no lack of confidence there. While the girls are clearly enjoying themselves, for some of the boys, the pressure seems to be getting to them. Yeah, well when you look at it, it looks really easy, but then you go to do it and it's really hard. You know, there's all this writing on it, everyone's watching you, there's cameras everywhere. It makes it hard. So you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself? Yeah. I don't know, it's just nervous. I'm nervous. I'm, it's because I'm the first one, so I'm nervous. It's a little nerve-wracking, cameras, a lot of people, so. So you took that long drive in? Yeah. When did you get here? I don't really remember. Okay. I think I'm doing pretty good. Considering yeah. I'm 14 and other guys are 20. I'm a nervous wreck, so... Uh, well, I'm doing fairly well. Other, other than the pressure, this, that's messing me up a little bit. One player that managed to keep his nerve was Nick Pateras. Yeah, there have been butterflies in my stomach all day, but not too much. been all right. Because of what's at stake, right? Yeah, exactly. For a guy who lives in nearby Oshawa, Ontario, he already has the Everton accent down cold. Um, well, I'm living in Ottawa, but um, I'm from England. Where? In London. Would it be nice to go back home to play? Yeah, I really like it, yeah. His impressive skills have definitely grabbed the coach's attention. Well done. All right, guys, thanks. The Agility Run is a course that focuses on a player's stop and start ability. Coaches will also be looking to see how well players take instructions. 
All the players are focused intensely on the course. Nobody wants to be the next one to mess up. Here we see a good example of contrasting techniques. Acceleration is key, but watch how the players handle the corners and how it affects their overall speed. Now watch the player in the upper right hand corner, especially the way he takes the corners like a race car, avoiding the hard stop and start technique used by the other players. Sahil Sandhu was a standout in the first series of tests and he's not about to let up now. I think I'm doing good, a bit nervous, but now I'm doing better. I'm going to have to beat defenders and uh, be hungry for the ball because uh, I'm representing my family and our culture and not many people go that far. It would be great to be on Everton. The coaches are clearly impressed. Coming up on Soccer Dreams, it's the first cut of the day. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good you think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good you think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? My name is Marcos Andres Quiroz Cosio. Uh, my number is 539. I'm from here in Ottawa, but my background is completely Chileno. Oh, uh, I'm doing pretty well, you know. A couple of mishaps and stuff. Oh, it means a lot because, you know, soccer is a big part of my life and uh, just being able to be in front of 50,000 fans, as you said before, would be just amazing for me. The dribble and turn test is all about a player's ball control or lack thereof. The players must negotiate a twisting course while maintaining possession of the ball in the quickest time possible. Now, watch these players side by side. Remember, the coaches not only look at a player's individual time, but also their skill and confidence with the ball. How would you rate them? No points for form, but full marks for speed. Time for the first round of cuts. On this sheet, the coach has the players that scored well on the test. Thank you very much for coming to Soccer Dreams and giving everything you've got. Some of you will be moving on to the next round, which is going to be right away. Some of you will be going home. I wouldn't lose heart. This is just the beginning, and uh, falling down and getting up is part of sports, especially if you want to be professional. Five. Well. Which players will move ahead, the ones on the right or the ones on the left? Only the best will advance. 532. 553. 538. 504. Coach Niger has made his final decision. Okay, gentlemen. This is the moment we've always been waiting for. As I mentioned, one group will be staying, the other group will be going home. You guys, you're staying. Of course, good sportsmanship is always important, whether you're a loser today or you're going on to the next round. For half these players, it's wait till next year, and the parents will be right there with them. I support him. I, I'm at every single game he goes to. I go to most of his practices. I'm here today. Day and night, you know, but for sure I ask him to 
study and soccer dream. Okay. He's been playing all his life ever since he was a kid. So as soon as, you know, four or five years old, as soon as he could kick a ball, he was playing. And you've been right there with him? Oh yeah, I play too. I still play, so. Any opportunities like this one, we try and say, yes, let's go. I drove up to London to pick him up, to take him to the Toronto tryout. Brought him back to London, came back to Ottawa, and again from London to here, mm -hmm. so I could try out here today. Oh, it's, I support him 100%, you know. Uh, I try to give him what I can and uh, and the rest for him. I think that's the only thing to really do as a parent, just really be there and be very supportive and uh, it's positive. You know, and even the rides home where the, the team is lost, you just have to say, well, there's always another game. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> is he excited? Very much, Are you very excited? much. I am too, more than him, I guess. <laughs> The time for shaky legs is over as the players move on to the accuracy test. In this precision drill, the players take five shots from the midfield circle at a small target about 20 yards away. This may look easy, but the players will tell you it's much more difficult in front of the cameras. Watch these players from a coach's point of view. Remember, this isn't just target practice. The players are not only being evaluated on their accuracy, but on their ball handling and overall speed. My name is Abraham Donzo. My name is uh, 552. I was born in Liberia and uh, I, I grew up in Guinea and uh, well, I live in Ottawa here. Since I was small, like, I'll be like watching like, my European uh, in Premiership and I want to become one of them. So I just got to like, keep doing what I'm doing, like, just focus on the, on the play and then just keep working harder and make like, some nice pass and stuff. So, yeah. In the 360 passing challenge, the player is surrounded by six mini walls. The players must then pass the ball against each wall in the quickest time possible. There's a right way and a wrong way. good examples of the skills it takes to complete this very difficult test. Watch from the coach's point of view. My name is Francis Leton Mathieu. 541. Coming up, only one of the boys in each lineup will be invited to the House of Champions. That will be his opportunity to prove he is the one. The one player that has the right stuff for the Everton Football Club. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one?
We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? Hi, my name is Mike Ricci. I'm number 508. I'm from Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. Today? Yeah, I drive in this morning. I think I'm doing good. The drills are fun. They're exciting. I like it. I mean, I've always wanted to play for a big club, and uh, I've been trying for this since I was young. It's been my dream to be a soccer player. I love it. We have seen the players go through the left foot, right foot pass agility run, and long ball. The shooting challenge is definitely the goalkeeper's time to shine. Uh, I think I've been doing all right, but uh, you know, things will look brighter once we get outside where I can actually go out and stop a ball. I'm the best down here. You're the best here? Yeah. You're hitting all the targets? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm doing pretty fine for a keeper. I mean, I'm screwing up a bit, but I think I'm holding my own. Young goalkeeper Tristan DeLorne has a very aggressive style of play. His method of challenging the shooters for the ball seems to be paying dividends. That is until the other players finally catch on. I've been a contract in the Premier League. That's my dream. It's what I've always dreamed of as a kid. Like, my parents, they played... Uh, university level and whatnot, but they never made it over that hump to go professional, so that's what I'm looking for. It mean pretty much my whole life I've been playing soccer, my dream would come true. I'd love it. It's, this is what I want to do for my life. But I gotta save every single shot. That's easier said than done. small-sided games. The players are eager to start. Now, they have to show the coaches they can remember their instructions. I'll have to beat defenders and uh, be hungry for the ball. Stay focused in the game, hopefully put some balls in the back of the net. Well, I will show everything that I got. All right, boys, we're ready, three. Let's go. These boys have survived the first cut of the day. They now have to show the coaches how well they can play under game pressure. Only the best will survive the final cut. Well, I'm going to have to show them my explosive speed and have to show them that it's not just about all big players and strong, that I can make it too. The coaches will take time to review the player's performance. Discussions will be made about individuals and their skills. The players are called in by the coaches and given specific instructions for the next set of games. And now, it's up to the players to shine. players have had a long hard day. These coaches have had a hard day too, but their work isn't over yet. Overall, the coaches are quite impressed with the skills of these players. Steve Niger steps in for some instruction. Who has the heart to keep going when the chips are down? That's what these coaches are looking for. Do these players have what it takes? Always lift yourself up saying maybe you didn't do it the right way because we didn't we didn't mark you. You marked yourself. And that's how we're gonna base the decision on what you do here and the point system and, and put it together and where you go. Time for the final selection. It's been a busy and exhausting event. Who will survive the final cut and make it to the House of Champions? You've had an excellent day, you worked hard, and you should be proud. Some of you 
will be moving on and you will be inching closer to realizing your dream and playing for Everton Football Club. So without any further ado, here we go. Number 539, step forward. You are going to be in the championship in the finals. Number 519, step forward. You are going to the finals. Number 541, step forward. Number 553, step forward. Number 544, 552, 542, you come forward, please. And the rest of you gentlemen, unfortunately, you can take a seat. Some will realize their dreams, while others will be crushed. Did you make it to the, to the championship? No. No? How does it feel? It feels great. Which ones have the talent and the right attitude to become a pro? How are you feeling? <laughs> Over the moon. Yeah. Can't believe it. Great. Great great stuff. I do know how to make my own bed. Okay. I don't do it, but I know how to make it. You're going to do it here, though. Absolutely. Sir. All right, starting Monday. Well, I came with my mom. Okay. I Will love we, my mom. Let's talk there to your mom is. there for a second. Come on in, mom. Oh, I'm ecstatic. I mean, I just uh, had no idea it would come to this point, but I think it's, I'm thrilled for him. Did you make it? Yeah, I yeah. make it. Finals. En français aussi, hein? Je suis au final, je suis en finale. Good job, everybody. And remember, here at Soccer Dreams, if you can dream it, you can do it. We'll see you later. They say you Goodbye, everybody. Once, so I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, I'm giving in pain. I was king of the streets until they put me in chains. I got the heart of a gang, so I'm a boss of the gang. I did my time in the gang, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got my van for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I did the rack. Hit the ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Nobody can stop that, I did the rack. Hit the ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Train the day to sequel, money's the root of evil. Dying is guaranteed to live my life to free. Lord, a cave in the ghetto, even murder with metal. If you heard it together, you see the reason my mental is going through pain. If you insane,